Hi, we're Nick and Tyler, and we live in a van. Good morning from Cape Cod. We woke up at like eight this morning um, to drive out here. I think this is a good day. So today's Memorial Day. Um, and as we were coming into Cape Cod, there was like a bajillion people leaving Cape Cod. So that's a good, good sign for us. Um, as of right now, we're just at this like little beach area. We mostly came here from the lighthouse. Um, this is on the National Seashore, so we got in for free because of our annual Parks Pass, which is so nice. Um, it's a little bit chillier than we anticipated. Um, yesterday was like amazing. It was like 80s. Today it's supposed to be like 63. Um, so I'm wearing like shorts and stuff, but a sweater, Nick's sweater specifically. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what the beach is like. We may be just like wandering around and going to a few different beaches um, just because the weather is windy and a little bit chilly. Um, we still do not have a spot for tonight yet because we were planning on calling a campground and potentially booking that. Um, but if we don't want to be in this area because it's supposed to be a little bit chilly, we may just try and get a harvest house last minute. So that's to be determined. I'm so excited to see what happens. What are your thoughts, Nick? Tell, uh, tell the people. The bathrooms here are so nice. It smells like fresh wood. Did you say that already? The bathrooms are really nice. And this is a really nice like beach facility campground thingy. I like it a lot. Um, it is a little bit brisk, but there's plenty of parking. As you can see, there's the little van. They have dumpsters and water fountains and, and showers and changing stations super nice so we are fans but it is definitely a little bit cold guys okay, so we're walking and they have these signs obviously to the beach and look at this this is crazy luckily we're here in may so probably is very very low it is basically June. but that's so crazy we made it to the beach it's actually very nice sand way better than i thought it was gonna be this is like a hawaii beach to be honest even with the waves, because the waves are a bit crazy today. So fun! We just touched the water. It's so warm. It's basically ice water. Oh, I think up. my feet are frozen now. It's so freaking cold. But at least it looks pretty. Okay, so we may, we kept driving. We had some lunch. We just had some tuna and crackers, classic. Um, we drove down like to the edge, to the, basically to the end of Cape Cod. Um, so there's a place called Provincetown. I think that's what it's called. Provincetown. Um, and basically right across from it is this little tiny spot called Grace Point. So that's where we are. This is what it looks like, the sand. It's quite magical, actually. Feels like Hawaii sand. Look how pretty this is, everybody. It's a little bit windy. Guys, look how pretty. It's so windy. It's all by cold. We were walking down, I was like, wow, it feels so nice. I can like, actually lay out. It's too windy now. Not an option. But the sand feels nice. Okay, so we're sitting along the path, like basically back to where our, our van is, um, because this spot is like still windy, but like way warmer and the sand feels amazing. And so this is what I wanted for the beach day today. Unfortunately, that is not really how the weather decided to be. So we basically just been like bouncing around seeing all of these different spots, which is great. I feel like we're getting a good variety of Cape Cod. Um, which is fun. I'm just a little bit sad because I obviously wanted like a fun little beach day, but it's okay. This is our fun little beach day. Nick is burying himself on the path. So. Just driving along Cape Cod. We just went through Provincetown. We keep trying to call it Princeton Town. Princeton Town. Town. Just Princeton about everything Town. except what it actually is. So that's our bad. Um, sand and everything over here phenomenal it's just like a little bit nippy today so that's the only downside and we don't have a ton of time so basically we have to be back in utah i think we just figured it out and it's like basically two months yeah so 12 weeks is what we came up with 
we have to be there in 12 weeks and so it's super hard because we're now getting to this like the places that were like wow this is so cool like i want to spend a ton of time here like we probably spent a little bit too much time in like pennsylvania it wasn't like our favorite spot um so it's a little bit tricky now just because we want to spend a lot more time here and it's beautiful here um but kind of limited places to stay. A lot of the campgrounds are expensive. The cheapest campground that we found is like 50 bucks a night, which is like not terrible, but not ideal if you like want to be staying for a while. Um, and unfortunately in Massachusetts, if you want to stay at a state park, it's like triple the amount for a non-resident than it is a resident. So a resident, it's like $22 a day. For a non-resident, it's $70 a day. So that's brutal. Um, so yeah, we're going right now I think we may stop at like one or two more beaches I'm not really sure actually we may just like stop a little bit here and there but overall we're going to head to a campground that we called they said that they have some availability when I checked them out it's like 45 to 50 bucks a night um, and that's where we're gonna be staying for the next two nights and then we're gonna kind of go from there anything you want to add Nick it's really really fun over here it's fun because we're on the furthest east that you can get up to this point yeah, the only part that, that like, spit. you might be able to get a little bit further, like, Portland, Maine is just about where we're at, just, like, directly north of us, and then if you went to, like, Acadia or, like, Nova Scotia and stuff, that, you'd be further east, but we are as far east as you can go in the United States, up to Massachusetts. Third beach of the day, this is called First Encounter Beach. Um, we are hoping that some people are going to leave so that we can pull right up to um, the edge and kind of open up our van. But this is what it looks like. So this is what it is. As you can see, the water is like super far out there as of right now, but there's only a couple spots open. So we could have gone like right here, but there's another spot down there and we decided to just wait a little bit. Yes. I've clear back there and the ground is kind of disgusting. But it's cool because the tide is all the way out there. So it's pretty neat that we get to just walk on what is usually covered by water, but it's definitely it kind of feels weird. weird for your feet. Yeah, it feels kind of gross. It's fine. Have fun. Guys, these are the moments. These are the moments that are like, wow, yep, it's a good thing we live in a van because we can just sit here and enjoy this awesome view <sighs> from our bed. Bye. All right, so we've been here, what, like two, an hour and a half, two hours now? Uh, just been like hanging out and the tide is finally starting to come back in. So, um, Unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave in just a few minutes to, so that we can go check into our um, campground before that they close um, so that we can actually get one because we didn't like pay or anything yet. Um, but look how pretty. Let's see if it will get the right. Oh, wow, it's way nicer now. Yeah, this is like super nice. Maybe mm. we'll come back here tomorrow. We'll see. I definitely have work stuff to do tomorrow, but if we have some like downtime in the morning. Maybe we'll come back. Okay, so we just got to our little campsite. We, it was how much? $58, it was $58 a night? $58 a night. But that included taxes and everything. So not amazing, but not terrible because they have Wi Fi here. Um, showers, bathrooms. And we have an electric hookup. We have so an we'll electric hookup. Starling can have it up all night. So there's like a few like good things. Um, we're still trying to save money. So we're only here for two nights. And we'll like try and do some laundry, we'll try and do all that kind of stuff, just like enjoy our time here. And then we'll do Harvest House slash go to Boston. So, so far so good. So excited to kind of check it out. We basically just drove in. We're in our spot and now we're going to go find the bathroom. Guys, it's so sadly obvious that we never stay at like nice campgrounds because we are freaking thrilled with like everything that they have. So they have like Wi-Fi, they have laundry. laundry. Which most campsites <laughs> don't have anyway, but they're like nice here. They're like nice ones. And they are way cheaper than going to a laundromat. It costs like three bucks to do a load of laundry. Um, amazing. Um, showers, like nice showers. They have like nice bathrooms. Um, so yeah, just like silly stuff like that where if we were used to staying at like nice campgrounds, it would just be like the thing. 
but we're not so we're like us walking to the bathroom us walking back i was just like giddy because i was like this is so amazing it's so silly so we're like three minutes from our campsite i've been working this morning nick has literally taken like everything out of the van i got a little bit hyper fixated and he cleaned it all rearranged everything kind of going a little bit crazy anyways so we came about four minutes down the road to this like super cute little store and we each got a little pastry and they got an almond croissant what are your thoughts it's pretty good if it was warm it would be even better because it's a little bit hard and then i got this like crumb cake thing it's actually way better than i thought it was gonna be and i'm gonna have nick try it so that he can also tell you how he how it feels oh that's really good I would equate that to the top half of like a Costco muffin. It's yummy. That's really good. Okay. Unfortunately, we left our campsite. It was very sad. We were thinking about staying a couple extra days, but um, there's a bio life that we could go to today instead, um, but it's a little bit more inland, close to Rhode Island. Um, and so we've decided to do that. Yesterday, we had a very productive day where we kind of sat down and planned the next two weeks which was very good because very needed um now we have a direction i mean we had somewhat of a direction before but now this is way more helpful and we booked a campsite so that we can officially go to acadia um, and have somewhere to stay because everything's like booking up really fast because um people get out of Probably. school here a little bit later than in like southern utah where i'm from so everybody's been out of school for a while there <clears throat> um and here they don't get out until like the middle slash end of june um so yeah um pretty fun pretty nice this morning we decided to come to the beach before we head back inland um i have a work meeting in a couple hours so we're, i'm just gonna work from the beach and it is beautiful Okay, so we came to this like super random, like kind of hole in the wall place. We ran into someone yesterday at the gas station and they highly recommended this place. They're from here. And so we're here. I got steak and cheese. Nick got fish and, chip. fish and chips. This is the view. We're right on the water, on the harbor. Yes. Super pretty, a little bit expensive and it's cash only, which is always our downfall. Whoops. <laughs> so we just wrapped up our um, experience is at Cape Cod. Um, one of my favorite things that we did was the campsite. Um, the we didn't show it very much, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I think the campsite was, campsites in general, I think are some of my favorite spots that we stay at. But one thing to keep in mind with these is that they're a little bit more expensive um, because you're in Massachusetts. But I don't know it was really cool it was just kind of cool to like be on the coast and like be in that iconic spot yeah i would say main takeaways from massachusetts in general but especially being in cape cod is massachusetts is expensive for non-residents so if you're a non-resident and you want to visit a state park it's like three to four times the cost um and that sucks <laughs> like really bad like even just like a day to park somewhere for residents it's like five bucks and for non-residents it's 20 um because we were gonna go spend the day at just like a random state park and we just we didn't do that because it was 20 bucks and for us it wasn't worth it um so that's one of the downsides overall though is really nice to be at cape cod because it is a national seashore so we got it we got in for free for like parking at any of the places um just because of our national parks pass so i really liked it any other takeaways nick i think that's pretty much it i think it's really beautiful i think it's a cool place to check out if you're in the area but um also just keep in mind other key takeaway the, the food spot that the very last food the very last food spot that we went to that we showed um everybody's like oh yeah it's like super cape cod um we were not impressed. Oh yeah, that food place was not my favorite. Oh. And people told us to like do the lobster roll because that's like what they're known for. But a lobster roll was like $35. So I think I really like Massachusetts. 
it's There's just, a lot of really it's just good. a little little expensive. So if you're gonna go and visit, just plan to spend a little bit of money, and I think your experience will be really cool. Because like the campsite was amazing, we had some really cool experiences, and the beaches were really beautiful. But we're excited to go to Bali.